David Umayi, after he refused to approach IPOB ESN. According to Daily Post, Ngami Kanu, the leader of the people of Biafra, IPOB, has declared that the Eastern Security Network ESN would operate without the approval of South East Governors. Ngami Kanu made the declaration in in response to a remark by David Umayi, the governor of Ebony State, despite despising the ESN. Nabi Kanu said that southeastern governors should stop terrorizing the ESN. Nabi Kanu, the IPOF leader, spoke to the group publicity secretary. Emmanuel Powerful and the statements read in part. We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazinam de Kanu, condemn in very strong terms the recent shameful statements credited to Governor David Umayi on behalf of his fellow Lily Levert and coward governors. Of Southeast against the newly established Eastern Security Network (ESN), they only further exposed their emptiness and detachment from the people. But our message to the detached Southeast governors and their South South counterparts is that the train has since left the station and can't reverse its course. May we remind the Traitor that the eastern region cannot be sacrificed at the altar of their political interests. It is either the key in or shape out. The east can exist without them. They should stay clear because they can not withstand the force behind ESN. Recall that two days ago, the chairman of the South governors. Forum and Governor of Ebony State, David Umayin, has said that the region does not need a security outfit because it's the safest place in Nigeria. David Umayin disclosed this following disclosed this following the recently launched of security outfit ESN by the indigenous people of Biafra IPO to protect the zone over security facing the region. Umayi stated this while briefing journalists in his office in Abakaliki said, our region remains the fastest and nobody can convert this. And so our brother said that he has formed security outfit for the southeast and it is very laudable and should be totally ignored. I commend very highly on the southeast governors, it is only in the southeast that the leaders have been castigated openly. It is a duty of the governors to protect the lives and the citizens, and also the citizens of other regions living in their states that are not from southeast. I want them to ignore the side distractions. We. Are going, you are doing a lot in the education of our people, payment of salaries, infrastructure development, and most especially the security of our people. No governor will come openly to tell you that ABC, what is he doing about security? But I want it to be debated whether Southeast is not the fastest in the country or not. We need to warn that our youth should desist from being engaged from the destruction of lives and properties. During the Enzax, this happens in all the states of the Southeast. The governors of Southeast will no longer tolerate that. We continue to keep our eyes on the ball to ensure that nobody living under our care is protected, he said. 
Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. Wow. Hmm. You can imagine. I don't know why engineer David Umayi will be blinded by this so-called political promise that the lives and his people means nothing to them. You can imagine that this is stupidity. It's stupidity to, to me. I think a man of his caliber should not even see the danger that will consume all Southeast. Imagine. That will consume all Southeast. Allah Ibo Aburu Bugu. Selling land to Fulanese is a full proof that this so called David Umayi is a slave governor himself to this so called Fulanese and is going to pay with his life for this, for what he has just done. Without Nambi Kanu's Allah or Buru Buru is in great danger. It's in great danger. Thank God that ESN is on the ground and he will definitely resume soon, no matter what, no matter the black men. Thank God is on the ground. Please keep it up. Now, never, never to be ignored. Because David Umayi does not know what he's doing. By the time the security starts functioning, he will definitely regret it. He would definitely regret everything he has said about Nambi Khan and IPOP. You can imagine. You can imagine this idiot. Imagine. Promised vice president one after the other. Terrorists are busy taking over their people's um, farmland and forests. In my own life, I've never seen a set of people that is so stupid and foolish like these so-called SE and SS governors, South East and South South governors. Can they emulate from Southwest counterparts? They are so, so stupid. To me, they are so, so stupid. You can imagine. Imagine. Just read that Two weeks ago, a full learning modules eight men a destroyed rice farm worth of eight million naira in Enugu. You can imagine that. Where are they treasurious governments? Where are they? When all this are happening? And do they do nothing as usual? No, they never did anything as usual. Now because of ESN, now we can ask organize a security outfit that is when they, they will come out and start saying rubbish imagine if you like it or not esn has come to stay and nothing will stop esn from being from operating viewers you have heard it all and the foolishness of this southeast governors what is your take on this what would you have to say concerning what you just heard the comment concerning this name is very much important please don't hesitate to drop every of your comment down below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get more notifications whenever we upload new videos. Thank you.